the Dallas Cowboys coming down to Tampa Bay, close to where I live, kind of three hours away. Wanted to make the trip, but it's on Monday, so I'm not going to be making the trip. But Tampa Bay taking on the Dallas Cowboys. The experience of Tom Brady, the two wide receivers, the team that is massively disappointed this year. But are you ever going to count a team with Tom Brady out? Are you ever going to not have not lean on them unless they're coming against a juggernaut? I haven't looked at the betting line. Probably should have. But it's probably an even line. I might, I might sound stupid right now. Again, I did not look at it, but it's probably around an even line. Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And if it is, the only reason it is because of the trust of Tom Brady. I trust Tom Brady. I'll, t- I'll trust Tom Brady until he's out of the league for five years. And maybe even then I'd be like, yeah, he might be able to come and do a job. But then you look at the quarterback on the other side, Dak Prescott. I've been a pretty big supporter of Dak Prescott. I've said he's in the the B minus to B category of quarterbacks. You look at Tua, you look at Jared Goff, you look at Kirk Cousins, you look at Derek Carr sometimes. And I think they all fall into a little cocoon of the same type of quarterback. They both or both. They all of them are decently accurate. You can win games with them. You can win double digit games with them. You can get to the playoffs with all of them. But are they enough to win a Super Bowl? We saw with Jared Goff. Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Todd Gurley, best running back, arguably best running back year of the decade, best running back year since Adrian Peterson, arguably. That defense on the other side, Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald was just coming into his prime. They went out and got Jalen Ramsey. I think, I think they had him on the team at that point. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But they had a powerhouse of a team. They had a bunch of guys, and they just fell short. A lot of probably the blame of that was because of the fact that Jared Goff was not able to do enough to carry the team once they came against a great defense, a great a great mind in Bill Belichick and Brian Flores deserves a lot of credit for that Super Bowl win for the Patriots over the Rams. And now here we are, Dak Prescott. I've been a big believer of his, but I don't think Dak Prescott at the, from this point on can win the Cowboys a Super Bowl. When he was on his rookie contract, when he was 21, 22, 23 years old, I thought maybe they could win a Super Bowl. Zeke Lely on a rookie deal. He's on a rookie deal. They go out and get Amari Cooper. They draft C.D. Lamb. On the other side of the defense, it was hit or miss some years. Now they finally got the defense right. My biggest issue with Dak Prescott is not his lack of an arm. My biggest issue with Dak Prescott isn't that he doesn't run a 4 4 40. My biggest issue with Dak Prescott is that monstrous contract that he got himself. And you're, you're a franchise quarterback. They're going to find a way to get paid. They're going to get their money. But now look at what that has done to the team. Amari Cooper, gone. Cedric Wilson hasn't done a lot in Miami, but he did have an impact with the Cowboys. Gone. Your second wide receiver, is it T.Y. Hilton? Who is the second string wide receiver? Tony Pollard's probably going to have to walk in the offseason because they're not going to be able to afford to sign him. The offensive line, they've been holding together with, with duct tape injuries, throwing people around, not being able to extend guys, losing Lyle Collins in the offseason. They've gotten, they've done a good job drafting. Trayvon Diggs has had a very good time at corner. I think he's a little bit overhated at this point. I think it started to turn the other way where he's gotten too much slack. Micah Parsons was defensive player of the year after like four games. He's still an incredible player, but didn't have the same consistency as the end of the season played out. But Dak Prescott, for his, I don't want to say inability, his deficiencies, they are not worth the contract he is earning. And that's going to lead the Cowboys to potentially another one and done in the playoffs. And he's not getting any cheaper. They could let him walk in a few years' time, but with this contract he's earning, he's not going to get cheaper and he's not getting younger. He's not going to get less injury prone. He missed multiple games this season, four games, I believe, this season. And he still found a way to lead the league in interceptions. Again, I'm somebody who has been a massive Dak Prescott supporter. I thought he can make certain throws. He has He's a mobile enough quarterback. He's not going to scramble like Patrick Mahomes, like Lamar Jackson, like Josh Allen, like these top elite 
guys, these younger guys now coming into the league, they have these athletic abilities from a younger age. Now, instead of putting the best athlete at linebacker or receiver, they're throwing them at quarterback. And these are the results. Lamar Jackson, some MVPs, multiple MVPs in the last few seasons are done on rookie contracts with guys that have a great athleticism, great arms, can get it done in multiple ways. That's not Dak Prescott. I like Dak Prescott. I don't love Dak Prescott. If Dak Prescott was a quarterback on my team, I'd feel good. I feel like we can make the playoffs. I feel in a perfect world we can make a playoff run. But this money he's earning has made this team have have to strip some of their best players. They're no longer the talented team that can compete. We saw what they looked like just back a few years ago. The number one overall C, I think it was Dak's, even, even Dak's rookie year. He didn't have any NFL experience. He was a third or fourth round quarterback. Was never expected to start. Tony Romo gets those two injuries. Now he's throwing to the moment, and he did a very good job. But now he's earning a lot of money. And now the Cowboys are back in the playoffs. Going against Tom Brady, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. A pretty good Buccaneers defense. And I fear for the Cowboys, it's going to be another one-and-done playoff appearance. 